Well, hello. <gasps> oh, Mr. Wolf, what's the matter? You seem very irritable. I seem irritable? Must be then. What put you in such a mood? I get this way when I want a meal. Wait a minute. Oh, Mr. Wolf, I hope you don't have any plans on eating venison. My children are too small to be left alone. When they're bigger, I can eat them. That's a generous offer on your part. I'll take you up on it in the future. You must think I'm crazy. Go find your meal someplace else. I was joking. <laughs> in such a bad mood. Even the fish knew to keep their distance, and it didn't help that he was still hungry. I'm gonna get ya! Little did the fox know he never had a chance to catch the bunny, for they were running a relay race. In a manner of speaking, the bunnies were outfoxing the wolf, by the way. So proud was this wolf that if he ever found out that the bunnies were outsmarting him, he would never admit it in a million years. Playing this trick on the wolf always made the bunnies laugh, and the wolf was never the wiser. <laughs> but that was just the beginning. <laughs> Hungry and wondering why he always had such bad luck, the wolf headed for home. While not too far away, a fox was being, well, the way a fox should be. Sly, crafty, and cunning, in fact. The fox was being everything the wolf thought himself to be. But as the events of the day had surely proven, Mr. Wolf was no fox. Just watch and you'll see what I mean. Notice how cautiously the fox approaches. the successful fox, enjoying the fruits of his labors, ate to his heart's content. So much so that even Mr. Crow was getting hungry watching him. Here comes Wolf. I better hide this. Hey, Fox, what smells so good? Hi, Wolf. I don't smell anything. Could you be mistaken? No way. Positive? I'm sure of it. What are you staring at? Hmm. You wouldn't be hiding food from your old friend, Foxy Boy. Wolf, you're hurting my feelings. It wouldn't be the first time you lied to old Wolfie, my friend. 
Oh, Wolf, if I had food, I'd give you some. Well, you better, otherwise I'd be pretty angry. Oh, Wolf, you don't really mean that. Uh... So long. Hey, Fox, I got it. What? What do you want now? Since I'm a wolf and we're supposed to run and run in packs, I thought maybe you'd run with me. Let me think on it. Uh, Promise. Thanks. I'll get right on back to you. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> hey, leave my food alone. Do you hear me, Crow? <laughs> you certainly aren't very smart. Of course, the fox knows why the crow can't pull the food out. But for those of you who don't understand why, pay close attention and you will see. But there aren't any other wolves around. So, what do you say? Mm-mm-mm. Ah, uh, so? What do you say? Mm-mm. Uh, don't even think about it. It'd be fun. What do you say? Uh-uh. Ah! Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Hmm. Well, what do you say? I say, see ya. Needless to say, Wolf was having a hard time finding anyone who would agree to be his follower. Except, of course, the fox, who had promised he would at least think about it. Pretty good to know. I've given it some thought. You're in. I'm in what, Wolf? Don't you remember earlier today you promised to think about our teaming up? I've decided to accept you as my full-fledged follower. That's nice, but wouldn't it be better if you were running with dogs? Listen, Fox, it's you I want to run around with. Besides, dogs have become traitors. All of them. My idea of a good companion is someone more like you. I'm flattered, but I have to turn you down. I'm sorry. You're missing the point to our talk, my friend. You see, I'm not asking, I'm telling. As at this moment, we're a team. I have no choice. It's no big deal, believe me, you'll love it. And we'll sure have a lot of fun. And if I still refuse, what then? It's nothing personal, I just hope you understand my need to ask. Don't get mad, Wolf. If I refuse, what then? You really want to know? I didn't get my reputation as a bully for nothing. <laughs> you wouldn't. You better believe it. I'm not playing games. You better not cross me up. <laughs> Does that mean you'll run with me and I can be the boss? <laughs> yes! However reluctantly, Fox became Wolf's partner. And that was a new source of pride for the arrogant Wolf. See how everybody runs away from us the moment they see us approaching? That's what I call being respected. Yeah, I guess. How does that make you feel? I'm not really sure. How can you not be sure? Think about it, Foxy. Doesn't it feel really good? Just a little. And there are a lot of other advantages to running in a pack with me. Is that so? Sure! Well, for instance, we could easily get food simply by taking it away from the other weak critters of the forest. I see. I've got it! I'll make an announcement telling everyone you're my new travel companion and we're a team. Oh, is that really necessary? Absolutely. Listen up, animals of the forest. From now on, my friend is officially a member of my family. That means if you don't do what he says, it's the same as disobeying me, and I'll make you sorry. Do you understand? Whether he liked it or not, Fox was now a captive audience. Pretty nice house, huh? And there's plenty of food stored up if you should happen to get hungry. Of course, it's all fruits and vegetables. But it should be enough to last us the whole winter through. I'm so hungry. Mm, starving. Uh, uh, trapped. Uh, uh. Hunger was driving Wolf to think of desperate measures. Sorry, old pal, I'm hungry. Uh, as hungry as I am, I can't do it to you. But what am I going to do? I have to eat. Oh, I'm so hungry, I want to eat. Oh, fuck! 
Max, wake up! Will you wake up? We gotta talk! Well, who's that? Oh. Shut up and go away and let me sleep. What do you mean, ah! shut up? I'll have you know I am the boss, and don't you forget it! Huh? <laughs> don't tell me it's the spring, boss. Winter's over. No, it's not. Then why wake me up? Let's go back to sleep. Till spring comes. Because I'm hungry, that's why. Then go eat something. I want to sleep. There's nothing left to eat. You have nobody but yourself to blame for that. You're just a big pig eating like tomorrow will never come. I'm not solely to blame. You ate too. Not nearly as much as you, mister. I'm starving. I have to do something. If you're thinking of going out there, forget it. You won't find anything to eat in the middle of winter. Do what all the smart animals do. Go to sleep until spring. I can't sleep. I'm too hungry. I'm starving. That's a problem. Hey, I got it! Wake up, you lazy bum. You're going to find me something to eat. Me? But it's very cold. Yes, and I'm not accepting no for an answer. I'm the boss around here, and you'll do what I say. Hey, werewolf. Uh, Take it easy, Willie. It's winter. You deaf? I said you're going out. But what if I can't find anything? You don't want to know. I hate to think about it. Reluctantly, the crafty fox went out into the cold to find the bullying wolf something to eat. <laughs> now it's great. I want some more fish. You glutton. <laughs> oh, that was good. I could eat at least five more. That's fine, but you're going to the lake by yourself this time. Hey, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Besides, I want you to teach me how to catch fish. What? You don't know how to fish? Where have you been all your life? Mm. I'm sorry. You put your tail in the water and just wait for a nibble. Then yank your tail out like this. Even for someone no smarter than Wolf, that certainly seemed simple enough, so he decided to give it a try. <laughs> Ooh, that's freezing. <laughs> Caught one! Ah, it's too small to be eaten. Fox had no trouble going back to sleep, which is what comes natural to most animals in winter. So it should come as no surprise that Wolf also fell sound asleep, with his tail in the water. And sooner rather than later, he was going to have a rude awakening. Hmm? What's that? Oh, I fell asleep. Hey, I'm getting a bite here. Hook! <coughs> The world? One, two, three. <laughs> Someone help! Please help me! I'm trapped! Help me, Fox! Fox, help! help Why, that's Wolf! Help. What's he up to now? Get me out of here before I die of pneumonia! What's the matter, boss? My tail's frozen in the water. That's what's the matter. Before I knew it, the hole was iced over. I see. Just grab and pull it out! <laughs> It's going to take both of us pulling, so when I count to three, pull with all your might. Okay! One, two, three. I told you, remember? It's winter! Very funny, Fox. Stop joking and help me. On three. One, two, three. Well, spring finally arrived, and though Fox wanted his freedom from Wolf, Wolf bullied him just as much as ever. No way! Do I have to keep telling you we're a team? We're going to be together forever. I don't want to do this anymore. What if I ran away? I'd find you wherever you'd run, and before you knew what happened, I'd make you very sorry, and you'd better believe that. You don't mean that. Oh, yeah! Try and see! What am I gonna do? Now that that's taken care of, I'm hungry. I want to eat. Again? Let's see. I ate lamb yesterday. Hmm. So today I want to eat something really uh, unusual. Uh, don't just stand there. Suggest something. How about some fried eggs? Hmm. Fried eggs. That is unusual. Where do you uh, suggest we look? <laughs> I can smell fried eggs all right. I like that. I think I'll have some. Go get me breakfast. All right, but don't move from here. Good. No dog to interfere. Although Fox really hated doing the wolf's bidding, there is something in the nature of a fox that enjoys a challenge. Hmm. It's almost as if courting trouble brings out the best uh. in Fox, 
and being in the house was surely courting trouble of the worst kind. Breakfast is oh. served. Ah. ah, what marvelous, wonderful eggs you brought. Good job. Thank you, my friend. How about me, Wolf? Ah. Don't bother explaining. I know my place in the scheme of things. Fabulous. In fact, it's the best meal I've ever had. I want to eat more. Eggs are my favorite now. Remember what was said earlier about Mr. Wolf being no fox? Well, that hasn't changed. Ow! Have you ever heard the expression, fools rush in where wise men never go? Well, that describes what Wolf did perfectly. Fox! Huh? Wolf, what happened? You look terrible. How did you get so beaten up? Humans beat me within an inch of my life. I was lucky to escape. In fact, they beat me so much, now I know what a scrambled egg feels like. <clears throat> You get caught stealing food from them? Is that what happened to you? That breakfast was so good. I wanted eggs. I couldn't help myself. You are perhaps the most hopeless predator on the planet. And what's more, you're a selfish glutton. You deserved everything that happened to you, Wolf. But why? You telling me for a couple of fried eggs I deserve to be beaten within an inch of my life? Come on, nobody deserves that. Ugh. One thing for sure, he was lucky to escape, and he's in pretty bad shape. I suppose he'll be out of circulation for some time. I'm sure of it. It'll be a while. Are you making any progress on getting away from him? I have a little something arranged that just might work. Hey, Wolf, I'm home. How are you feeling? Are you any better, Wolf? I'm starving. I want you to get me something to eat. Unbelievable. You're amazing. You think I was talking to myself? If you don't get me something to eat, you'll be sorry. Be better if you come with me, boss. Mm, lead the way. That's fabulous, because I found this place that's full of salted meats. It's a basement, and you and me can have a field day eating. Really? You sure we can get in? Sure, no problem. <laughs> Good. I want you to take me there. I want to eat a belly full, and then I want to eat some more. That'd make me one happy fox. What Fox had arranged was a trap he hoped Wolf would walk into. You sure you're all right to go on? You seem in pain. Yes. Tell you what, if you can make it back to the house, I'll bring some food out to you. I'm going into filling my belly no matter what. Hmm? This is it. This is the place. So where's the entrance? There, it's small, I know, but I think you'll find that you can make it. All right, you go first. I'll follow. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Boss, where do you see this? The room is filled with barrels and barrels of meat. Don't eat it all. I'm coming down there. Yeah! Is that door locked? I think so. You know, I'm feeling better, so you have my permission to pig out. That's very generous of you. Listen here, boss, let me just suggest you avoid eating so darn much, okay? See ya. Good, the bully's <laughs> eating. Now it's time for the next step if my plan is to work. Hey! Hey! Hi there. What the heck are you doing? Why don't you eat some of this? It's delicious. Just checking, boss, to see if we got ourselves any problems, boss. Mm -hmm. Well, isn't it time we were going? You've had plenty. Maybe we should leave something behind, not be such gluttons. Not on your life! Oh, well then, boss. Take all the time you want. Who are you? <gasps> Wait till I get my hands on you, hey, you thieving varmint! See ya. I'll be sure to break into my soul! I might get your game out of here, but you're not! Ooh, ooh, ah! Fox, wait! Don't leave me all by myself, you gotta help! Fox, I'm gonna get you for this, I promise you that! Gotcha! As luck would have it, <laughs> what Fox had arranged worked, and now he was free. Listen, everybody! I want you to know that I'm free and Wolf is never going to...